How you guys doing today? Start off by saying, uh, obviously a great team win. Everyone in there busted their butts, and uh, you know, credit to the Packers um, for an awesome game. And uh, you know, our, we have a, we know we have a good team in here, and we fought. And uh, credit to all the guys in our locker, to all our excuse me, our locker room as well. And uh, with that, I'll open it up to some questions. What's what's going through your head as Kirk's kneeling down? How are you kind of preparing? For that? Um, Locked in, ready for the opportunity. You know, ready for the kick. As soon as, uh, as soon as they scored, I was like, "Hey, let's go win this thing." That was my mindset the whole time. You obviously live for moments like that uh, to, you know, be in the situation, come through. So many other times, you've been close, team-wise this year. Mm -hmm. How did it feel to be in that moment right now? It feels absolutely amazing being able to put a W in the column for the guys in the locker room, you know, and to see how happy everyone is and, you know, how it makes all the hard work pay off. So everything I do, you know, every play I play is to, you know, try to put the team in a better position to win. And I'm thankful to be able to do that today. And it's awesome to see the guys like that. And on to the next now, you know, reset on to San Fran. After uh, missing an extra point, is there like a particular approach you take to make sure that that doesn't happen? Oh, I knew what I did. Just, uh, just a you know mistake and uh, pushed it out. You know, uh, forgot about it real quick, and because I knew I'd have bigger kicks to come. What happens or what goes through your head when they call a timeout uh, right before your kick to try to ice you? Nothing. Uh, you know, same, same thing. Just another chance for me to go through my routine. Do you kind of expect that, knowing that they have a timeout? Then? I don't think about it. I just think you know, as soon as I'm back there ready, I'm ready uh, for Jordan to call for the ball, and as soon as I see his hand go, I'm going. You watch an opposing kicker miss a kick? Is there like a little bit of sympathy pain, or how, how do you? Of course, yeah. I mean, you know, I never root for anything negative on anyone. Period. So, you know, of course, but uh, I'm a competitor, and I want to win games with the Minnesota Vikings. Any game-winning kick is big, but in this game, in this rivalry, and then to be carried off the field, how special did that feel? Oh, a memory I'll have for a lifetime. Um, you know, like I said, credit to the Packers for an awesome game but ecstatic to put a W in the column for the Vikings and, you know, at home against a division rival. Can't beat it. You, you had to make this team in training camp, and here you are kicking game-winning field goals in the NFL. At, at, at times you kind of pinch yourself and say, this, this is what I work for, this is what I drunk for. Absolutely. Um, all these kicks, you know, that are made out on that field are, are made beforehand. You know, in practice, we practice ex exact scenarios like this. Um, you know, obviously different scenarios and et cetera. So, all the hard work, you know, there's still plenty more to come. And I still, I know I still have to work a lot harder to get where I want to be, but yeah, it's all, you know, it's all the work I've put in over the, over the years. And, uh, just my thing is head down work and that's, that's all I know. And that's all I'm going to do. Greg, what, what works so well with the three of you, you and Andrew and Jordan? Um, we just understand each other. You know, we, there's no pride involved. There's no ego. It's just, we want to win as a team, you know, whether it's as a, um, special teams team or the full team, you know, and we want to contribute to the Minnesota Vikings winning games. So there's no pride, no ego. We just uh, want to put our each other in the best position, and we get along real well. We, you know, hang out all the time. Um, super easygoing guys, the three of us. So, and and those two, they're professionals. They're very good at what they do. So they make my job easier. When you make a kick like that, and everybody is kind of rushing you, I mean, are you kind of aware of who's there and what they're saying to you, or is it all a blur? Um, it all becomes a blur pretty fast. I, uh, I just always try to go to my linemen because, you know, they're up front, you know, and helping me make the kick. I wouldn't be able to do it without them. So I always, you know, try to high five everyone. But then before I know it, you're swarmed and some of the guys are picking me up and I don't even know who the pictures will tell. <laughs> are you aware of like the Vikings history at kicker? Does that hang over your head at all? I can't do anything about that. All I'm worried about is what Greg Joseph can control. How does this rivalry compare to others you've been a part of in other parts of your football career? Um, I don't really put too much on that, you know, because I just uh, either way, it's a field goal, you know, same size field, same hash marks, same yard lines, etc. So wherever the ball down, wherever the ball is, put it down, and I'm going to kick it. Is it helpful that you've had to kind of get in the headspace every week to potentially make a big <laughs> kick? Uh, every week prepares you, you know, and every a uh, week is a lesson, so I just just try to use them all and add them to the toolbox. So yeah, absolutely. And uh, even if we don't get the opportunity, I'm mentally preparing myself for 
scenarios like this. Thanks, everyone. That's great. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Go Vikes.